Hello again. And welcome to Writing Off the Deep. And I'm Mary Thaler. And I'm Jeffrey Edwards. We're going to be talking about the craft of writing. So, craft is... What is it? <laughs> what is craft? <laughs> yeah, craft, craft, it's the skills that we have in writing. I would say that when you think about the kind of writing that you want to do, craft is how you achieve that kind of writing, how you get the, make the, the dream in your head into reality on the page. So, so it's something you can learn. I think it is something you can learn, and we develop our craft. I'm going to make a bold statement and say that nobody <laughs> starts out um, as a great writer. Yeah, so there's this idea that um, if you write enough hours, they say 10,000 hours, you can become a good writer. So it, it's yeah. the time you put into to mm -hmm. figuring out the tricks of the trade. Yes. Obviously, you can learn some of those tricks from other people who've been through that route, yeah. right? So that's where the teaching of craft comes from, mm -hmm. right? That, I think you've put your finger on something. Is is it just the hours that we put in? Will you just naturally keep improving the more you do it? I think, yes, you will. I think that's the case. But is there also something deliberate that you can do to try to make yourself a better writer? Well, I think you can learn from the great writers who have something interesting to say about the process of writing, mm -hmm. right? So, do you mean... Like I mentioned in our previous episode... Uh, Ursula Le, Le Guin's uh, book, Steering the Craft. So she, yeah. this is a consummate writer who's written about the process of writing. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's interesting about Le Guin's write, uh, book is that um, she clearly cares about young writers and, and how they're finding their way. And so yeah. the book has this very sort of um, coaxing, gentle mm -hmm. relationship to yeah. the burgeoning author in it. Yeah. Although, for me, it also um, it, it, it uh, checks a lot of boxes or pushes some buttons for me because it is uh, very focused on the technicalities of it. And so I think, uh, for me, that, that's just fascinating to get down into the nuts and bolts. To get yeah, sort of so elbow she deep talks about engine. punctuation. There's yeah. a whole chapter on punctuation in that yeah. book, which is really, mm -hmm. uh, you know... And she gives you exercises, and which I, I love doing exercises. I love being uh, told, "Oh, you should try doing this. Try, try, um, try writing a whole page that is just one sentence." Was an exercise that right. she gave. I, I, I don't think the idea is great, <laughs> but I never want to do it. <laughs> so perhaps I'm not as good a writer as a result. I don't know, but uh, I, I don't follow recipes in <laughs> my cooking. So because I hate, you know following the traces of somebody else's done. So I like to see the traces Yeah. so that I can do my own thing around them, but I don't want to do exactly yeah. what somebody else You're proposed. reflecting on them and yeah. coming out with something that's, that's completely yours. Right. That yeah. said, however, I read tons and tons of articles on how to write. So if yeah. I'm, I'm an addict of all the writer's Journals and magazines and... Yeah. Uh, that is one of my main procrastination <laughs> methods, in fact. <laughs> and I have to be quite firm with myself, Mary. Reading about writing is not the same as writing. You have to do your writing. <laughs> so, but but you do... Do you feel you get some, some good from I it? I always get something interesting. Mm -hmm. about it. Even, even, even stories, you know, articles that are telling me things that I more or less know. Yeah. I do find it interesting. It's... You know, somebody is paying attention to this issue. And yeah. paying attention to it is part of what the learning process is about. It's just being, atten it's just being attentive to these mm -hmm. things. Right? I would, yes, I would say that paying attention is almost more important than what you're doing or that you're doing the right thing. That these, these essays and books about writing are making us pay attention, right. even beyond the I've, advice. I've noticed that our voice has gone up since we started talking Have about we this. Talking we're, we're quite passionate about this <laughs> issue of crap. <laughs> well, uh, yes. Yeah, I think I am. It's, it's something that's often on my mind uh, to make my writing better. To, and by better, I really do mean to make it, what I said earlier, to make it fit the vision that I have for my writing. Mm. Mm. I have to say, I've been working with, over the last um, uh, several months, I've been working with a, a, a collaborator, 
on writing, mm -hmm. uh, who is a teacher of creative writing, and and yeah. and she uses a lot of exercises. And I have grown to like them a bit more through that collaboration. <laughs> it's sort of like, take your medicine, it's good for you. Take your medicine, it's good for you, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, but what, what, what if, if exercises don't come naturally for you, what, what would you say does, what does work? Well, I, I, I think it's the way that I learn. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I self-study. I, yeah. I, most of, most of my, a academic and career development has been done through mm -hmm. self study so I read and I think and then I I put it into practice but I put it in practice into an actual writing exercise in which yeah. I'm paying attention to what I'm doing mm -hmm. in the light of what I've heard so it is yeah. there is a learning going on there but it's not a formal exercise that I'm following although I as I say I, I do do that a bit I remember when I was it was interesting the fact that um, I felt that some of my descriptions lacked detail. So you were talking yeah. about detail in, the, in mm -hmm. an earlier episode. And, um, uh, and so I read a book about writing descriptions in which there were many exercises. And I mm -hmm. did some of the exercises yeah. because I felt it was important for me to better understand how do you how do you identify the details that matter that bring the story to life so yeah. uh, i i went through the exercises to do that mm -hmm. so when a subject is important to me mm -hmm. i will do the exercises <laughs> <laughs> that seems logical and that's a, that's a really um that's that's a inter the question of description is, is an interesting one in craft because what you said about selecting the details that's true there's a, a certain judgment involved like, what's the right amount of detail you know, the so right place. Look, there are there are writers who say oh dialogue is the only thing that matters well mm -hmm. I, I'm one of the kind of people who thinks that the books that are memorable to me are often the books that have just the right amount of description, but they are really strong on the descriptions. Mm -hmm. And so those are the ones I remember more than the dialogue books. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree that it's important. I do try to break it up. I try not to give blocks of description, right. but it, it should be woven through. There should be um, description happening in a subtle way, even in your sections which are dialogue, even in your sections which are action should still be taking place in a concrete world. And, right. and so I think they partake in description in a way. But that's something, that's that's definitely a craft question. In science, writing science fiction, you, you it's hard to avoid descriptive passages because mm -hmm. you're explaining the science and all the rest of it, you know. Yeah. So um, it's tricky to do that without a lot of description, but mm -hmm. but I've also started writing historical fiction, and there the problem mm -hmm. of description is very different. So. Yeah, that's interesting. The idea that there might be genre specific skills, and I I think you you put your finger on one for sure in science fiction. Science fiction authors are used to uh, the good ones are used to. Uh, giving their readers uh, a glimpse and an understanding of very complex worlds without bringing all the action to a screeching halt so that they can explain things. And that's a skill and that perhaps writers of, of literary fiction don't have to worry about. They have to worry about different things. They have to worry about giving you the sense of characters very mm -hmm. quickly in the story mm -hmm. in a different way, right? Yeah. So. And the readers, readers of science fiction and readers of historical fiction have different expectations of their genre. So I think cycling back, uh, craft is not going to mean the same thing always. Craft is always related to what your goals are, what in my, that's how I would define right. it. Right. So craft is a preoccupation for young writers, beginning writers, right? Mm -hmm. Because, because one is learning it, right? One is, yeah. and, and so, yeah. Where does one need to pay most attention to in terms of crafts? So you have you're in, inundated with information yeah. about this. Mm -hmm. Although I think there's a balance when you're a young writer, when you start writing. However, and some writers start very very young indeed. Uh, there's an importance of, of just writing and building your confidence by um, by doing getting your writing out. But sooner or later, the the, the thought of craft comes in and you want to do it and you also want to do it better. So 
And then you have to figure out how. <laughs> so, and so, uh, of course, that implicit in that question is mm -hmm. that there is better writing. So, what is better writing, and how does one get to it? Right. That's the kind of meta skill. So, there's, you know, there, there's craft is, I guess, doing good writing, but it has this meta skill, which is knowing what good writing is. So, I think we've covered the issue of craft to to. A, a, a certain degree. I would say we've done a small corner of it. <laughs> we might have to come back to it later. But um, but that's that's about it for today. And next time we're going to talk about audacity, because it's another issue that's related to craft and voice and mm -hmm. writing in general. The element of risk and adrenaline that writing can have. Right. So we look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, if you like our podcast there's a button down below to click on to subscribe to our series um, and thank you for watching see you next time